I know the importance of having lots of great choices when you're shopping for meat. But today there are a lot of meat products packaged in ways that we've never seen before. So I thought it would be helpful to have Dr. Randy Huffman, who's Vice President of Scientific Affairs at the American Meat Institute Foundation, to explain what we might see in the retail store today. Well, it's great to be with you today, Janet, to talk about the options in the meat case for consumers. You know, in the past, consumers went to the market, placed their order with the butcher, and they got products that were cut and packaged right there in the back of the store. Right. But today there are a lot of new options. Many products available to consumers are cut and processed in processing plants and shipped directly to the store and put out for display for purchase. Wow. So what does this mean for consumers? Well, it's good news for consumers in terms of choice, but it's also great news in terms of product safety. The packages are produced under the watchful eye of USDA inspectors. They're sealed at the plant. In many cases, that seal is not broken until the consumer gets it home to their kitchen. Keeping it sealed keeps it safe. That does sound like good news for consumers. So what are these first two products? Well, Janet, these are the packages that consumers have been used to seeing for years. They're either cut or ground right there in the grocery store. Now, what consumers may not realize is that meat in its natural state is sort of a purplish, dark red color, but when it comes in contact with the oxygen in the air that we breathe, it blooms a bright red. These products that are cut and packaged in the store have a plastic wrap that's put around them that allows in some of that oxygen. It comes in contact with the meat and it turns red. This is the way consumers have traditionally seen meat products in the retail case, and these products will last just a few days in the retail display case. So tell me about this one that looks like cookie dough. Well, Janet, this is what we call a chub pack. It's frequently used for ground beef or fresh pork sausage. The meat is wrapped in a plastic that keeps the oxygen in the air out and causes the meat to stay fresher longer. But I can't see the meat. Well, that's right. Some consumers prefer to see the meat, and in that case, we have other options. So tell me about these two packages here. I can see through them, but the meat does appear to be an interesting purple color. Is that what you mean about meat's natural color? These are what we call vacuum packages. In this case, all the air has been removed, taken away from the product. The plastic wrap has been shrunk down tightly around, creating a vacuum. So tell me about the benefits of this packaging. Well, Janet, there are some great benefits for consumers. This package keeps meat fresher longer than any other package. It's leak proof. And the concept is keep the air out, lock the freshness in. But people are used to seeing red meat. I know that's what I look for when I shop. Right, Janet, as do many consumers. That's why there are still more choices. So with that in mind, tell me about these two meat packages. Well, Janet, these are relatively new. The air that we breathe contains mostly nitrogen and oxygen with a small amount of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. In these packages, the ratio of gases has been changed. The level of oxygen has been elevated, and oxygen causes the meat to turn that bright red color that we know and love but oxygen can also affect the meat's taste and its freshness. In fact, Janet, the oxygen in the package can cause the meat to turn from bright red to brown in just a few days. So how do you keep that from happening? Well, it can be helpful to add a chemical extract of rosemary, which can help the product stay fresh and keep the color for just a few extra days. The use-by date on the package will tell you how long the meat will stay fresh. So these two packages look very much like these. Is there a difference? Well, they do look similar, but there is a key difference. In these packages, the nitrogen that's in the air that we breathe is kept at a very high level, but we remove all of the oxygen from these. We also add a small amount of carbon dioxide and a tiny fraction of carbon monoxide. Why is that? Well, that air mix allows the product to stay the red color, but it also keeps the meat fresher longer. So these packages have no oxygen like vacuum packaging? That's right. These packages, because all of the oxygen has been removed, they will last about as long as vacuum packaging. So this gives three benefits to consumers. First, it's a package that they can see the product. Second, it's in a color that they're used to buying. And third, the meat will last a remarkably long time. So are there other packaging options that consumers might not see? There are a few other options. In this case, we've modified the atmosphere within the package, but there are other options where individual trays like this one would be placed into a larger bag and the gases within that bag would be changed much like we've done with this package. When that bag gets to the retail store the manager would cut the bag open and place these individual trays out into the case. 
that packaging system allows the meat to stay fresher longer during distribution to the grocery store. So all these packaging systems, are they safe? Absolutely, Janet, but you don't have to take my word for it. All meat and poultry is inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and all packaging systems are reviewed by the Food and Drug Administration, as well as the U.S. Department of Agriculture. As a meat scientist, I have great confidence in the safety of meat products. I feed these products to my family, and I'm absolutely sure of their safety. It's great that these products are safe, but how do we know if they're fresh? Well, the most important information on the package is the package date, the user freeze by information that's printed clearly on the top of the package. Consumers should use this information, do as the label says, and use it or freeze it by that date. So what about other clues? Well, odor is your next best clue. When meat is spoiled, it will definitely produce a very noticeable odor. Also, meat may have a slimy or slippery appearance and texture to it. You know, the old saying goes, when in doubt, throw it out. What about color? Well, eyes really aren't the best judge of freshness. Color can provide some clues with some types of packaging in some cases. But with all the new types of packaging materials and marinades and spices, color really isn't a very reliable indicator of freshness. So if consumers want more information, where should they go? Well, I'd recommend two websites, usda.gov or meatsafety.org. Consumers could also call the USDA's Meat and Poultry Hotline, and that number is 1-888-674-6854. Wow, this has been really great information. Thanks so much for taking the time to explain all the choices in today's meat case to us.